Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is introduce you to definite integration. That's where you've got an integral of some function, let's say f of x with respect to x, but you've got limits. That's these values a and b that you see here. They're quite often numbers though. And what we do is we integrate f of x with respect to x just as we would normally do. Let's say we get capital F of x as some function, the result of integrating this. We then write the limits a and b at the end of these square brackets and we then substitute the value of b for x and work out f of b and then we substitute a in for x and work out f of a and we subtract those two results. And this answer is used so much in many applications. For instance, it's used for calculating the area under a graph, or say the volume of a solid, and many, many more applications. So it's a very important concept to understand. Well, what I'll do is I'll run through a couple of examples explaining how we use this particular method. And first of all, then, we'll start with integrating, say, 3x squared with respect to x. Now, if we didn't have limits, we would integrate this in the usual way by adding, say, 1 to the power and dividing by the power. So you'd get 3x to the power 3 all over 3. But we would write a constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. Now, when you're dealing with definite integration, that's with limits, we don't write plus c. We totally ignore it and I'll show you why in the next example that I do. But for the moment, let's suppose we integrate this between two limits, x equals 1 and x equals 3. And by the way, notice how we say the bottom limit first. We're integrating 3x squared with respect to x going from x is 1 to x is 3. OK, so we've integrated it, and what we do is we put this in square brackets. And we put the limits at the end here. So again, we're going from 1 to 3, not from 3 to 1. All right. Now, in this particular example, we can clean up this function here. So we can clean it up by cancelling out the 3s. 3 into 3 goes 1. 3 into 3 goes 1. And so we're just left with x cubed. So let's just write that in again, that we've got x cubed then, and our limits are from 1 to 3. So we've reached this stage then, and now we need to do this stage. So we put the upper limit in for x, and then the lower limit in for x, and we subtract the two results. So if we apply that here, We've got 3 goes in for x, so in this case it will be 3 cubed. And then we take away and we substitute the 1 now in for x, so we take away 1 cubed. So 3 cubed is 27, and 1 cubed is 1, so we've got 27 take away 1, which is 26. So that is the answer to our definite integral. Now I did say I'd show you why we leave out the plus c, and so we'll do another example then where we'll get some more practice with this, and I'll show you why we leave out the plus c. Let's suppose we were integrating something else, say from minus 1 to 2, and let's say it was 4x minus, or 4x cubed, say, minus 3. So we're integrating that with respect to x. And in the usual way, if we integrate 4x cubed, we would add 1 to the power, so that's 4x to the power 4 over 4. And then integrate minus 3, we get minus 3x. But let's put in that plus c this time. We'd have this in square brackets now, between the limits minus 1 and 2. We can clean this one up as well, the two 4s cancel. So we're left with x to the 4 minus 3x plus c. So we now substitute our 2 in for the x. So we've got 2 to the power 4. 
and then we've got minus 3 times 2 so put that in and we've got the plus C the constant of integration let's put this in square brackets here now we've got minus and we now work out what we get when we put minus 1 through here so we've got minus 1 all to the power 4 then we've got minus 3 times minus 1 and then the plus C and we'll finish those square brackets there. So if we work out 2 to the power 4 that's going to be 16 minus 6 plus C and we'll put this in square brackets again minus and then start the other bracket off we've got minus 1 to the power 4 well that's 1 minus 3 times minus 1 well that's plus 3 and then we've got plus C now this bracket comes to 10 plus C so I just put that as 10 plus C got to be careful with this next bracket because inside we've got 4 plus C but we've got technically a minus on the outside so we've got to multiply the 4 and the C by minus 1 so that's going to give us minus 4 minus C. Now do you notice these two C's now cancel one another out so it was pointless putting it in and this is going to happen for any definite integral that we do would have plus C in this bracket, a plus C in this bracket, but we end up subtracting them from one another, so it just goes to zero. So that's the reason why we don't bother with the plus C. Okay, so with that done, we've got 10 take away 4, giving us 6. So I hope you can now see how we can do definite integrals like this by putting our limits in, and in a later tutorial, I'll show you how we can use this to work out areas under graphs and other applications.